Thanks for checking it out. Check it out. Now, the game is to be sold and not told, people. Okay, everybody knows that. Okay? Now, you don't give away information for free. You got tax motherfuckers to get it. Now, even when you find talent, and that's why A&Rs have jobs, you got to tax motherfuckers or you got to show your worth by giving people talent. So when Jazz Prince finds a young Drake, and by the way, you know that whole line by Pusha T, you sign to one nigga who signed to another nigga who signed to three niggas, right? Yeah, that's exactly what's going on with Drake. You know how Drake came in? Jazz Prince introduced him to like Cortez Bryant and them. They formed like a little label. They signed Drake exclusively. They then used that contract and Aspire went into a deal with Young Money, right? Young Money's under Cash Money. Cash Money's ran by Baby and Slim. And of course, all of that is under Universal Records. So you can see what he's talking about when he says, you signed to one nigga who signed to another nigga who signed to three niggas and that's how y'all all fucked up, okay? So here's the thing, because Jazz Prince, he basically, he didn't sell the game. He basically just told the game. He introduced Drake to Aspire or the people who consisted of Aspire Music Group. And basically he had no paperwork for Drake. So what ended up happening, Drake went into a contract with the niggas that he introduced him with. And he had no paperwork to back up any work or any introduction he did. So when he comes around later saying, yo, where my money at, though? Like, didn't we have a verbal agreement? Like, I was going to get a quarter. They're looking like, nigga, what? A verbal what? Right? Now, he's going back and forth. He's been trying to sue cash money. He's trying to sue cash money, young money. He's trying to sue, of course, Universal. He's trying to sue Aspire. And he's finally back to trying to sue cash money. And he's pointing directly at Birdman and Slip. He's saying that, yo. The stakes has changed. He says, I kind of own Aspire now, which means the dealings that we had before and since the contract when you guys signed Drake to Cash Money, Young Money, it broke the contract that was existing with Aspire. I'm going to tell you what the contract really had. And now the money I was owed from way back we going to factor that in, okay? They're talking about amounts over $4 million, and it's probably a lot more, but he wants his bread. So that's what they're trying to go back to court with. Listen, Birdman is stalling everything in court. Nothing is getting resolved. You could tell we're hearing a lot of lawsuits. We're not hearing much resolutions. We're not even hearing settlements. So I could see this not going anywhere. We've seen a lot of courtesy calls by uh, Jay Prince and salute to him, right? CEO of Rap A Lot Records. However, at some point, the courtesy calls goes from being courtesy and becomes almost goddamn like if somebody keeps ignoring the courtesy, it's not disrespect, ain't it? So something got to happen, and we'll figure out what as time goes on. But he's filed another lawsuit. That's Jazz Prince, right, which is the son of Jay Prince. He wants to get paid. He's aiming at Birdman and Slim, all right? Get a comment box, you guys like them, subscribe to Bullshit Academics. I'm out.